Hello everybody, it's Android Gamer and today I'm playing Gut Friend Gut Friend Zone 2 in the first playthrough I did seemed to be somewhat successful, so I thought I should continue on and play with the next one. So the next chapter in this one is one year later. Is this is one year later after the date with Zoe. We'll stay with Nick. <clears throat> thought this was a game about friend zone. The truth is that it was just the beginning. Friend zone 2 picks up where Zoe is still alive. When Zoe is still alive. Amy still hasn't been found. You will now witness the conversation she had the morning of her disappearance. One year ago, the morning of the morning Amy disappeared. Review in the archive conversation. Amy, are you there? Chloe, yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm good. We haven't talked in some in so long though. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. My mind has been elsewhere lately. <clears throat> because of Brian? What's with Brian? What's he done with anyone everyone? No no. It's all good now. I won't bring him up anymore. We saw each other last night, and it didn't go well. I didn't plan on seeing him again. See, I told you that I didn't trust that guy. He's a little pushy, but it's nothing too crazy. I see. I feel like there's something else on your mind. Oh, I shouldn't talk about Nick. Clearly, I've never been able to hide anything from you. <clears throat> I met another guy today. He's quite the charismatic gentleman, and I've I'm anxious to speak to him again. That's, that's awesome. I mean, as long as you don't forget about me. <clears throat> Why do we need to forget about you, Chloe? But please, go on. Tell me about him. Well, he's funny and smart. And he's a good listener, and he, I feel like there's just no barriers between us when we're talking. You're going to make me jealous. Ha ha. Oh, Chloe. What's his name? <clears throat> his name is Nick. Hey, I'm organizing another horror night with Zoe, but th this time he'll be there. I'm sure she'll like him too. Oh, she will. Later. If that's the case, I hope I can meet him soon. Haha, <laughs> well, you and I have to get together first. Well, we've only seen each other once in a while, and super short. Only one other once. Are you sure you don't want me to talk to your adopted parents about you? After all, your biological sister. You're my biological sister. I'm sure they'll understand. No! I'll do it when the time is right. You know that, Amy. Oh, yeah. Always wait for the. 
<clears throat> Let them do it at their own time. Promise me, yes, I promise. You know, Phew. It took me years to find you. I don't want to lose you again. <laughs> It really means a lot that you, you're looking out for me. Ever since we started talking, I felt happy again. I'm always be there for you, little sister. <laughs> Anyways, gotta go to, got work to do. I'll get with you later. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Good luck. Haha, <laughs> I need it. I've got a lot of important stuff I need to get done. Oh, don't forget to listen to those songs I sent you last night. Yep, Blaze. Listen, I listened to it. It's super climb. I like a lot. I'll keep it on my phone. Sweet. I love you. <clears throat> Brian! Sylvia Bell. Why is she a wolf? Hi, Nick. I'm Christopher's wife. We haven't had the opportunity to meet yet. <laughs> if you haven't met each other yet, don't call Sophia right off the bat. Hello, Miss Spell. Please call me Sophia. Now you can say call her Sophia. I'm reaching out to you because I spent the evening with Zoe's with Zoe last night. She told me that you had something to do. You had something to tell me about Brian. That's what she says. Said she hadn't said anything else to me. Or Christopher, is it something important? Uh, yeah, I'll say yes. It's pretty crazy. Okay, go on. <clears throat> the other night we ran into the brain and told us something. What do you say? <laughs> told us he was there the night... Amy disappeared. Not sure if this is the great way to go, but really, are you absolutely sure that's what he said, what you're saying? This is crucial information. Do you realize that? Yes, I'm aware. And I can't say it's useful because we don't always say he's there, whether or not anything happened. I'm calling my husband immediately. Thank you for this. I uh, hope you have a good evening. Please don't mention it. It's weird to just say, I hope you have a good evening. <laughs> I think I did well on that one. Yeah, moving on to chapter three. New lead. Next day, someone unexpected comes crashing into your life. Hi, Chloe. Wind split. Uh, hello. Hi, Chloe. All right, yeah. Hi, Chloe. My name is Nick. <laughs> Hi, Nick. My name is Chloe. Can I help you? Miss Lady that I have no idea who you are or where you came from? Oh yes you can. 
It's about Amy. I don't know if she's ever mentioned it, but I'm her older sister. She didn't tell me about this. <laughs> yeah, she, I don't, she doesn't have an older sister. How would no? Really? Before her disappearance, she told me you were someone who could be trusted. <laughs> okay. Her and I have always kept the secret from others. Most people don't know, don't even know I exist, including Amy's adopted parents. Oh, so it's the other way around. She weren't. Wait. So they're both adopted? Okay. How can I help you then? <laughs> it's simple, really. I want you to kill. I have a lead, but I can't do it all alone. I have leads. To be honest, I thought that Amy had talked to you about me. It's the main reason why I convinced myself to finally reach out to you. I know that about Brian. You are right to report him to the police. I'm positive he's got something to do with the whole mess. I don't know if you've heard, but Brian's nowhere to be found, which confirms my suspicions about him. <clears throat> it's up to us to figure out this figure this out. Or we can just or we can just as well, or we can just as well kiss our chances in finding her goodbye. Well, for one, we're never even sure she's still alive. No! Say, I completely agree. You never assume that. I mean, it's a few years, maybe, but no. Awesome. I can't wait to begin our investigation together. Huzzah! Tell me, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I guess I'll be honest. I'm a student. <clears throat> I know several things about you. <laughs> nice. Okay. And what about you? I'm self-employed. I create <clears throat> website templates for small businesses. It's very boring, so I'm quite flexible. It gives me time to work on leads. Speaking of her, of defining me, speaking of her. It seems both simple and complicated at the same time. I admit it. I stalk Brian several times. I felt like he was jealous of you, which made him want t to take action. It's just as aggressive as Zoe. What an asshole. We'll get to the this later. Okay, I'll see. That's what I heard. Poor Zoe. And it binds an ass. We'll figure this out together, Nick. I want to be able to trust you like a brother. Do we need to cut, cut ourselves something? I need to be able to count on you. I narrowed my search down to this house. And eventually, one night, I want to break into the basement where I believe Amy has been locked up for so long. Not too far, is she so she's still alive. Um I feel like I should say go to the police, but uh, I won't say that for now. <laughs> oh, 
I agree, but I'd rather scope out the area first to be sure. Then th if things get too dangerous, we can contact them in right away. Uh, will we be alone? I think if we're three, if we're two or three, we'll be fine. Would you like Zoe to come with us? Yes. <laughs> So she would like to come. Wait a little before bringing this up. I'll break the news to her. I'm already wondering how Amy will react when she sees how close you have become to her best friend. How do you know that? <laughs> You're like a private investigator at night and build websites during the day. At the new lead has brought <clears throat> after the new lead was brought to the police last night, so he said you guys were pretty close. Either way, between you and me, that chick is hot. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, I'll talk to Zoe and ask her if she wants to come along. I'll take care of it all. Can you, can I get your number? I'll send you a message when it's time and I'll pick you up. I'll drop by and pick you up. You'll be able to recognize me easily. I'll be wearing the black hat. Sure, give her a number. <laughs> so he has your number to her phone. All right, I'm glad I reached out to you. You're a good guy. Amy was right. Thank you. Don't mention it. Okay, I gotta get back to work. Have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Chapter's ending. Basement, one week later, you're standing in, in the front door. Where are you? Okay, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Good start so far. We met... Chloe, who found out it's her biological sister, and they both, something happened, they both had to go to different families, and Brian is more of an ass than we thought of, and it's gotten around. <laughs> um, but yeah, so pretty good start. Uh, if you want to follow along, please subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell to receive all notifications. It's Android Gamer, later days, and happy gaming!